Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, Alexandra. Hi. She's finally back. Do you guys remember her? We did a Chi Chi Hadid makeup look how many years ago? I think it was five years ago. Five years a ago. A long time. It was, <laughs> but it is seriously still one of my most favorite videos. It got so many views, it got so many likes, and I'm just so honored you're back. Um, we decided to do a Candace Swanapole look. Swanapole look today. And also, we are back in my studio. Now, I know a lot of you guys really enjoy when I s shoot in this type of environment. I personally also really love shooting in my house, but I decided to do this once a month. So I'm, I'm doing a series. I'm basically doing a more in-depth type of video. It's going to be a closer look. And I thought to start the series, there's no better model than having you back. So let's get a closer look. Let's go. So I'm going to start differently today. I usually always do foundation first, but I decided to put on the Skin Iceland mask, which they look like this. I love doing them when I'm, you know, doing somebody for red carpet because it just like has time to sink in and then I do your eye makeup and then I go and do your the rest of your face. So I'm going to start with my Clé de Peau concealer and I'm just going to put that, if you close your eyes, directly on your eyelid just to create a base on your eyes. And that's just a really nice base, almost like a primer for your eye. Lately I've not been using eye primers. I really just enjoy using either a foundation or a concealer and then I powder it and then I put my eyeshadow over it. It's a really nice way of priming the eye. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of a pressed powder on top of the concealer. I'm using my pressed powder here by Clé de Peau. Close your eye. And I'm just literally going over the concealer. So it's a really nice base. All right, so for eyeshadow, I'm kind of obsessed with this palette. I think I used this on you, Alex, for your, uh, when we did the masterclass together. It's by Huda Beauty, and this is just such a gorgeous nude palette. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use those two colors, I'm gonna mix them together, and I'm gonna put that into your crease or into your socket. And I'm just gonna take a MAC brush, fluffy MAC brush, and sort of like create a socket in your eye. Just, we want everything to be really soft and seamless and no really harsh lines in your eye makeup. It helps if you take a clean brush and then you just blend over it. What I love about these Skin Iceland masks, it, it really like also helps fall down with eyeshadow so it's really like protecting your under eye area now I'm gonna go in with this little darker shade right in here it's almost like a mauvey purple let me just see what this is. I'm actually gonna take the mauve and this chocolatey brown and I'm gonna mix it together and then I'm gonna put it on a thinner dome brush and I want to just create a little bit more shadow right in here. I really like this Rowan brush because it's really dense and it's really good to create that crease. You have to go back in with a fluffy brush and just blend it. Right then I'm going to go in with that lighter shade right in here. I'm just going to bring a little bit of that underneath the brow bow. Just so we have a little bit of a transition right there. All right, next step is going to be a liquid liner. The one I'm using is by Clé de Peau. It's actually a chocolate brown. It comes with two di different um, angles. I'm starting with the bigger one, the wider one. And just put it really close to the lash line. So I'm starting on the outer corner, go inwards. Try to be as thin as possible the closer you go inwards. If you mess up a little bit, it's okay. We can go back in with a Q-tip. Open up. All right, now can you look this way? 
with your eye open a little bit and then look this way I'm gonna just try to go in the inner corner I'm gonna turn around my pen and this is more precise it's a thinner tip and it allows me to like really be precise with my application all right, so now I have sort of like my base on. Even if it's not 100%, it's okay. We can go and correct it. But the hardest part is to really like create that outer flick. So for that, I really like it if she sort of like has her eye open and sort of like look straight into maybe the camera. And then that way I can really create that outer flick. So I want to like really get out to about here. And then I just slowly go inwards and then I'm just going to like stretch it and then I go back into the liner. Another thing I like to do is sort of like follow open up again, look straight, is follow the lower lash line and then sort of like just bring that lower lash line upwards and connect. The line and then close and then I go back from the outer corner inwards and if it's not a hundred percent correct it's okay because we can go back in with a q-tip and I'm also gonna use a cream pencil afterwards on top of it and make it a little bit more smudgy but this part is really helpful if you follow your lower lash line upwards open up that really helps. All right, so after I've applied the liquid liner, I'm gonna go in with my um, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Rock and Co in brown. And uh, I'm putting that close on top of the line I just created because I wanna make it look a little bit more smudgy. So I'm just gonna like just go over, make sure that your pencil is really nicely sharpened and then I'm gonna go back in with a brush to sort of just make it all a little bit more smudgy looking. You can also put a little bit of it on your finger or on your hand and I'm gonna go back in with my brush and then just like go over the line that way. I'm just gonna go in with my brush and just smudge it. So now I just like really perfected it. I went over directly again with the pencil and now I'm gonna go into the waterline where I'm just gonna lift up your eye a little bit and I'm gonna go on the upper inner waterline just to make this part a little bit more rich and it just like ties the whole eyeliner together. Open up. So I'm just finishing up my eyeliner and I just want you all to know that it's not an easy thing. It is definitely take your time, don't drink too much coffee before <laughs> you do it and just be patient and practice because even me, I still struggle to this day. You know, sometimes I have a good eyeliner day and sometimes I don't. So just don't be too hard on yourself. All right, so the liner part is done and now I'm gonna go in back with my Huda and I'm using this shade just to create a little bit of shimmer. And I'm just applying that sort of like on the eyeball in the middle of your eyelid. And then I bring it inwards. And then I also take my 217 brush by MAC and sort of just blend it in. For mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous. This is like an oldie but goodie. We have great lashes. I'm just gonna do one or two coats. All right, and then to brush out your lashes, I'm using my tweezer man. It's a really nice, fine little comb. And I just wanna like make them look really not clumpy. Mm -hmm. This is a step a lot of people forget to do, but it's really effective. 
All right, for lashes, this is a brand I've just recently discovered. I really like this brand called Lash Star. They're just really beautiful quality. There are a few individuals. I'm going to put them in. I'm going to show you really quickly on one eye how I do this. So I'm just going to put it in some lash glue. It really helps, like what you're doing right now is look straight. Look straight into the camera and I'm just going to add a few on the outer corners. You have fantastic lashes so you really don't need a lot. Alright, I'm actually adding two more lashes because I just feel like, why not? Yeah, I just fill those little gaps. Alright, so before I take off your eye masks, I'm just going to really quickly do your brows. I just brushed them up and I really like this Glossier pen. This one here is the Brow Flick in the shade Brown and I'm just going to draw a few little strokes where I feel like you need a little bit more filling but your brows are insane they're so good but I love this brow pencil because you can literally create fine little hairs with this and it looks super effortless and natural and if you feel like it's too heavy then you can just go in with your spoolie and brush it up all right, so it's really important to kind of like shake the pen and then just follow your natural hair growth, meaning wherever your hair is growing, you just sort of like fill it in. Okay, to finish up the brows, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Brow Gel. And this will just like keep your brows intact. All right. It's time to take these eye masks off. What I love about it is you take it off and like your under eye is really clean. Now I'm gonna go in with a new product series by Victoria Beckham. She did a collaboration with um, Agustina Beater and it's a really beautiful primer. So I'm gonna use the primer first before I apply foundation. And this primer just gives you a beautiful, natural looking glow. All right, so for foundation, I'm using my favorite, Clay de Peau. This is in my pro kit, in my personal kit. I just love it. I'm using it with a big stippling brush. And I'm sort of just like packing it on. A nice big flash, fluffy brush like this is really handy because first of all, you can be really quick with it, but also because it is so big, it definitely takes a lot of the product and it will make it look more natural. I mean, you don't always want to take all the product away, but you know, in this case, I just want it to be really natural, the foundation. Don't forget to go down in your neck area. And then I like to go in with my beauty blender, kind of work the foundation into the skin and just kind of perfect it. So foundation is done. I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Let's go underneath the eyes. I'm making it a touch lighter because we want to really highlight underneath her eyes and brighten it up a little bit. I'm also going to put it on the bridge of your nose. Then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and we'll just dab it into her skin. All right, I'm gonna do one more layer underneath the eyes. I feel like it needs just a little bit more brightening. I love this Clé de Peau Radiant Concealer. It really kind of just pops right there. And again, I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and I'll just pat it into her skin. All right, I'm gonna also just go directly with my Clé de Peau Concealer in orca and just go over the little tiny little bumps you could also do this with a brush i love the katie Poe concealer for that it's like really really good the consistency it really does the trick all right so underneath her eyes i feel like it needs a little bit more shadow so i'm going to mix those two colors together 
and I'm just gonna like create a little bit of a shadow underneath her eye and then you can connect it to the liner and don't be shy it can be doesn't have to be too thin because it's such a light color it just creates like a really beautiful shadow underneath all right for the lower lashes I'm gonna use my glossy mascara the reason why because I love this brush and this mascara also doesn't smudge so I love using it for the lower lashes okay I feel like it's time to powder you a little bit I'm using this hourglass ambient diffused light I love this as a pressed powder because it still gives you a natural glow and it doesn't look like powder on the skin it just sort of like takes the shine away and it looks super natural and effortless all right, I'm gonna use an oldie but goodie. It's the Hula by Benefit. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that shadow in the hollows of your cheeks, just to create a little bit of a more definition, or to create more of a cheekbone. But let's keep it like super natural because we don't wanna make it look like you're contoured. <laughs> and this just creates some shape and also like gives you a little bit more color and definition to your face and the color of this powder is just perfect it's such a good product it's it's been in my makeup kit for so many years and it works in so many different skin types i'm going to bring in my charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow on a big big fluffy brush just to like give you a little bit more of a glow. For me, the, my favorite part is to use it on a big fluffy brush because that way it just looks super effortless and doesn't look too heavy. Okay, one thing I like to do at the very end is I like to even make the liner a little bit more crisp. So for what I do is I take a nice pointy brush and I just put a little bit of concealer right underneath the liner it really helps for it to look super sharp and crisp Voila. all right we're almost done i'm going to use one of my favorite new blushes this year is by armani beauty and this is a lip cheek product and all you really do is you can work directly out of the product and putting it sort of just like on your apples and it's so sheer that's what I love about this product it's super sheer I'm gonna just use my it cosmetics brush and I'm gonna just buff it into your skin all right, a little bit of highlight. This here is a brand new Chanel product. I have never tried this. I'm praying it's good, but I trust you, Chanel. <laughs> and I just think it's so pretty. So I'm gonna put that just on the highest part of your cheeks, right in here. Candace always has the perfect glow, so we're gonna recreate this on you. All right, lip liner. This here is a Kevin Accor product. And I'm going to just line your lips a little bit. All right, our first liner was just a little bit too, it just blended into your skin too much. So now I'm gonna use this Becca liner and I feel like it's the perfect color. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, lining your lips and I'm gonna fill them. And then I'm gonna go in with a brand new Kosas product. It's a wet lip oil. And oh my gosh, the finish is just so stunning. Press your lips together. And then I'm gonna just go back in with my liner. Just make sure that all the edges are blended in. And uh, go like that. And that's it. 
you are canvas. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. Thanks for coming again. If you want to follow Alexandra, then down below in the description box will be all the information on how to follow her. And uh, if you want to create this look maybe on your own, then maybe tag us and send me some photos. I would love to see how you create a Canis Swanapool, I can't say the last <laughs> name, look. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also give me some likes and we see you next time. Bye. Bye.